away from Huggy Kindness Studio in the ridge of High Ridge, Missouri. This is Huggy Kindness, a loving kindness fairy on Tea Time, a couple loving kindness podcast series. Welcome. Today we are going to be like a bee on a flower, just being with each other and feeling what that's like, you know, when you set aside the mind and you're just being. So welcome to this non-podcast series episode. And let's just dive in. And as always, thank you, Shannon Curtis, for your lovely theme song, I Know I Know, because it is a song that has changed my life for the better, helping me step into that heart space, recognizing that we are in this shared human experience, and that really where our strength, where the magic lies, is in our common thread of humanity, the thread that is connected through our hearts, that is connected through loving kindness. I hope you all enjoy Big hugs, love always, huggy kindness. And on today's uh, tea time, a cup of loving kindness non-series episode, um, we're going to be talking about being, just being, you know, like being right now, and being in okay with the pauses and the ums, and not always knowing what to say, but speaking from the heart. And so. I want to bring up this concept of arriving. And I think in society, we're often almost told, you know, in the self-care field, like you need to arrive perfect in this moment before I could ever be friends with you, before I could ever be with you, because to be with you right now, it's hard for me to be with you right now means that I, I'm having stuff stir up in me that I don't know how to deal with. And so it makes it hard for me to be with you. But I want to challenge this idea of having each other arrive perfectly before we can share time and space and space and time together. I think there's a beauty that comes with connection and these entry points. Um, But It takes intention, it takes energy to create it, and it takes patience and willingness and trust and things that often seem like barriers. But there's something something that's come up in this last year that I'm really playing with it because it's showing up so much. And what I'm talking about is entry points. That's the best way I can describe it right now. And maybe as I move through this more, I'll have more, you know, human language to help us move and talk about this. But entry points are these areas of exploration areas, doorways that might allow us to connect, to kind of come to a common ground, even though we are experiencing very different realities. And these entry points are beautiful because they're not saying, hey, you're wrong, I'm right. They're not saying, hey, you need to do this to fix everything and you'll be better and then I can be with you. It's saying, no, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you, I'm meeting you, I'm hearing you, I'm with you exactly where you're at. And that is where the magic lies. I arrived here today. This is what I come up with in this last year. I arrived here today. I arrived here now. I arrived here right now in this moment. There's nothing more to do than to be. And as you know, I've come into my being as huggy kindness, this loving kindness fairy that I've always known to be, but just kind of lost my way. And I flutter around and I, I, I fly around and then I, I, you know, come in contact with another individual, another being often in the conditionalities of this, this realm, this, this world, these, this world of 10,000 things where we very much are, are, inspired to come up with a label or a category or put someone in this box or that box. I often am moving in that same labeling direction. And 
it shuts off a lot of connections and relationships for me. And I promised myself yesterday in a breathwork activity with a, a dear friend of mine that I won't do that anymore. And I really stepped into this idea of being. And what was happening is I was in this breathwork exercise. I was really flying around and as you know, individuals would come into my, my field of view and I would meet them. Before, I would just, you know, go into that space and be like, who are you? I need to know who you are. I need to know everything about you. And right now, like, I took a pause and I was like, no, I already arrived. They already arrived. All we have to do is be. And the beauty of being is like nothing other, like nothing like anything else. And words Words don't matter. I don't have to hear what the person's saying because I can feel it. And that's what I'm talking about. The expansiveness that comes from just being with someone. I'm going to read something else. uh, And I hope it resonates because this comes through. I think the walls, the resistance comes through what I'm about to share. And I think as we collectively come together, collectively walk each other through the fire of suffering, walk each other, celebrate each other to the victories, help each other up when we fall, all the just moving together through all of this. We don't have to be alone. We don't have to wait until we're perfect to arrive or or declare that this person has to you know, be perfect until I can hang out with them. No, like we get to be with each other now and the messiness, the stickiness, the beauty, the crying, the laughter, the joy, the sadness, the happiness, the whatever, because you know what? Moving through the discomfort, moving through not knowing what to do is where the juicy ooey gooeyness of all the fun happens. That's where the growth happens. That's where the connection happens. That's where we start to come out of the valley, see that there's more to this experience than this depth of really deep despair. We can start to see the sun rising. We can start to see the mist and the the clouds start to fall away. And we're reminded, we're reminded of the hope. We're reminded that This is a blip, a blip in time. And what's infinite, what never ends, is love. So here is what I've kind of cultivated through this experience of starting Tea Time, A Cup of Loving Kindness, through my journeying of breath work and meditation and Reiki healing and and, and really just reflecting on my own experiences and other people's experiences, talking to people, hearing what they're, you know, up against, what they want to celebrate, but they feel like they can't because the world's saying, this is what I need you to be. This is what I need you to do. And I can't be friends with you until you show up all perfect. I can't show up with you until you love yourself completely. Well, I'm going to give you all a really big wake-up call. If we all wait till we wake up, if we all wait till we love each other or ourselves fully, completely, then we're all dead to each other, this whole human existence, this blip in time while we're here. So I challenge each of you to celebrate each other to the fullest and just be with each other. And it is hard. It's hard to do because we are, we are inspired to start categorizing each other we are inspired to start labeling and i know what you're thinking i know what you think of me but if you let that fall away if you take a pause and you sink into your heart You can already start to feel it. And there is a wordless trust there that you can't describe. 
And that being is all we, that's all any of us need to feel validated in the experiences that we're going through and to move through it with a greater sense of empowerment. Because guess what? We have someone that's with us, that's being with us, that's on our side. We don't have to do it alone anymore. And I love each of you to the moon and Icarus, which is like one of the farthest stars and back and even further. So here we go. This is like a really cool journal I uh, found along my path in a mystical little store. It's called Earth Warriors. And the very beginning has you say, this journal belongs to. So this journal belongs to every child within us that was brokenhearted for another brokenhearted from another brokenhearted and on and on, my friends, because this is the cycle that seems so truthfully never ends. In heart, in patience, in being, in connection, in love, and in hope, the cycle is merely a blip in time, space, and space-time. An entangled piece of the time expanse of ocean of boundless space-time. No one thing or one moment, one situation, one comment, one rejection, multiple traumas, multiple failures, multiple successes. I got to succeed even more. No one thing, moment, any of that. None of it is truth. It's a piece of it. It's a magical little sparkly sprinkle on top of the cake of it. But I'm telling you, the love, the loving kindness, the whole universe hugging us to the depth of our souls saying, I got you all the way through. Even though this seems like this is the most treacherous, I'm never going to get out of this moment. It's a blip in time. And love is really the truth. I've questioned that for a long time. Is there evil in the world? Huggy Kindness does not believe there is evil in the world. No matter how many daggers of words, no matter how many times I've been rejected, nope. Because when I sink into that heart space, when I sink into being, what I realize is all of that is a conditionality. All of that is a moment, a time in space. When really space time has no bounds, love in the expansive sense moves through that pain through that moment and sees you to the other side when the sun's rising again, when you are moving towards that victory of being at the top of that mountain. But when we're in it, when we're in it, it does feel like it. It does feel like it's evil. It feels like it is, it's on and it feels like there is no hope. And it feels like we are in the darkest place of the universe. The other magical thing about being is it doesn't have any conditionalities of time and space. And you move through that entanglement. You realize how connected we are always. And the moment that our minds and everything in the world of 10,000 things is saying that we are disconnected, separated, different, when you step into being into the heart space, into this zero point energy, this quantum moving oceanic vibration, feel it moving through every cell, every atom of your body. Can you feel the waves? Yes, because that, that feeling, that's being alive, that is being a part of the universe. 
in that feeling, in that being, you move past any conditionalities. You realize we are connected. You realize... There is this other soul right here with me that is moving through different experiences, maybe. But experiences emotion like I do. And in being with them. You both aren't alone anymore. You both don't have to pretend that you have the answers to all of it to fix whatever it is you're experiencing. You both don't have to try to silver line, make the person's pain look better, feel better. You don't have to do anything but be with them. That presence speaks more than any word, any anything that we are kind of driven to want to do. But the magic is really just in being, and I I really, I challenge each of you to step there this week. Fly with me in that. When you fly around to the next flower that you're going to, you know, do your little like dance and sparkle and nectar it up. And that other, you know, fairy or bee or whatever comes, you know, when the mind starts racing or starts telling you, oh, what is this thing? Oh, it's a bee. No. Hold back. Take a breath. Move into the heart. And just be, just be there. There is a wealth of knowledge that comes with not needing to know what that bee's name is, not needing to call it a bee, just presence there. And I'm so curious what each of you experience when you do that, when you try that. And I'm sure it might be very difficult in a world where we are accustomed to categorizing, just always going into the mind of what does this mean for my reality? But what if all that mind stuff wasn't there and we could just be, what does that look like for you? I'm going to leave all of you that with, I'm going to leave, you know what? I'm just going to leave that with all of you. All of that stuff I shared, I'm just going to leave it with you right now. And I'm going to fly off to my next little moment of intuitive calling. I'm not sure where I'm going, but I feel I'm going to flutter away to something. I love each of you. I'm excited to be back. Once again, I'm Huggy Kindness, a loving kindness fairy. This is Tea Time, a cup of loving kindness, a platform, a right now studio podcast series, um, looking to move this more towards a filmed uh, version um, with co-host, Anyone interested in spreading joy, loving kindness, laughter, love, acceptance, understanding, you know, belonging, being with each other, reach out. I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to have you on the show to co-host, to be my guest star. I'm wishing all of you the best of week this week with love, light, and laughter. Huggy kindness. Oh